hey guys I'm back um, yeah I have ordered a carb kit for the uh, Macola chainsaw so we're gonna get back to that video or back to that project but for now I'm waiting for the carb kit to come in so I, I'm kind of trying to kill some time and so I thought I'd do something kind of fun um, this is one of those projects where I'm gonna make a disclaimer at the beginning of the video uh, if you try this it's at your own risk I am not recommending it, uh, I'm just doing it for the fun of it, and what you decide to do is on you, not me, okay? But I will show you what I'm doing, uh, and how I do it, and then, well, you'll see. Anyway, so I'm going to get right to it, just show you the parts, and then uh, we'll start putting it together, and we're going to make a little uh, compressed air gun of a sort. So, it's not for anything violent, it's more like a, a confetti gun, if you will. I suppose you could stick a potato in it. But anyway, it's just something fun to do. So, here we go. Okay, so here's the parts. <clears throat> this is an inch and a half PVC pipe. Uh, I think it's two feet long. Uh, this one is a 14 inch piece of two inch PVC pipe. A couple of two inch long pieces of one inch PVC pipe. This is a uh, inch and a half to inch and a half coupler. A inch and a half to two inch coupler. A one inch to inch and a half coupler two of those, and a cap, some PVC glue, and a tire valve. Um, these come in little packages of two at the auto parts place, and I've got one of them taken apart here, but it's the one I'm going to use. And then of course a one inch to one inch ball valve. So you got to have that. Alright, so first thing is we got to get the tire valve mounted in the two inch piece. So let me clear some space. Bring on the drill bit. And we're gonna go about three inches from the end. And then we'll take this guy Hopefully I can get it up in there. There we go. And then this comes with a second rubber grommet, but I don't need that full height. So what I'm gonna do is take and snip off at this uh, ridge right here. Just cut it off. carefully as not to cut myself. Alright, and we're going to take that part and put it on there. A little cap. And not, I don't have a wrench over here yet. Two shakes. There we go. I don't can see down in there, but rubber's all squished up. So that should hold air. Now, this is this new cement that you don't have to use a primer. I thought that would be handy for this project. I don't know if these are big enough to get that thing off. Nope. Good and cap the end. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now I'm going to set that aside. And we're going to go with the valve assembly. He gets PVC one inch pieces in each end. 
Oh, that might have been too much. <laughs> I got a rag over here. Let me go. quite so much on it this time because you don't want to get the glue into the valve that would kind of suck all right now we're going to doctor up that end and put one of these here do the same thing on the other end here you can be a little sloppy it doesn't matter if you don't want to get on your nice Rubo bench. Which, by the way, I have videos out on how to build. This was a fun project, this bench, but anyway. So there we got that. I'm going to get these stickers off. They will not be necessary. And I think they might get in the way of a good seal. Alright, so on one end of this, we're going to put this guy onto our two inch PVC like so and on the other end of that adapter we're going to put our ball valve and I want my valve stem pointed up and you guys are aimed at the wrong place there we go this is more where I'm working in it anyway so now we got that all together, we'll take our inch and a half to inch and a half adapter, stick him on there, and then our inch and a half pipe. And stick him into there. And that is it. Already assembled. One quick gun, if you will. Quick air gun. I'm going to wipe the uh, excess glue off here because I was rather messy about that. All right. So now you put air there with the valve closed. You put air there. And then when you're ready, boom. So let's find out what it does. So I don't have any confetti to put in it. So what I have is this is the rope that came with the pull start for the uh, uh, chainsaw when I bought the pull start for it. I didn't need the rope. It already had good rope. So this, of course, is way too loose in the pipe. Da -da -da -da. So. What I'm doing is I'm going to take a rag and just kind of put it in there and wad the rag up around it. And Doc thinks I'm talking to someone that's out here. And then, oh, that was a little too tight. I'll put that in there, pack it down, and here we go. I'm going to aim you guys up just a hair. I try to keep the end of the gun in frame. Here we go. Yeah, that, that worked pretty good. <laughs> the uh, rope went about 35 feet in the air. I was aiming it nearly straight up. I landed over here. And that was only 40 PSI. So, I think it works pretty good. I suppose if you had more pressure in there, you could throw a heavier object, but that worked pretty good. I'll try to get some other shots with it to add to the video.
sandbag all the way to the driveway probably 50 yards and it was at least that high as well Went all the way to the road. That's a little more than 50 yards there. Anyway, have a good one, folks. Bye.